Good morning, and it is morning. I've not long been awake. Um, I got woke up by the postman. Um, so yeah, uh, another unboxing. This one's slightly different. Um, it's not one of the geek geeky boxes I normally have. It is the um, Mysterious Package Company Curios and Conundrums. And for those of you who are fans of Erin, you are probably familiar with this. For those of you who are not, um, go check out this channel. But also, it is a um, more specialised collector's box that is less about geekery and more about um, weird and wonderful. Um, so, just going through the previous box, they um, they have their own card game called Motherland, which is kind of cool. You get these cards. Um, they did like a, a weird sort of pendant, you know, stone eye thing. I put the strick on it, um, but yeah. You get a little bell. There is actually a um, model, um, paper model that they did that actually I remember it's in the other room. Um, the disagreeable goat, which the head keeps falling off. So yeah, so you get kind of weird stuff. If you've watched Aaron's videos, you've seen these before. Now these are from the last two boxes because um, Aaron did the um, I think it was volume three or something. Cause they do it in various volumes, and yeah. So they, they, they do it once a year and then you get a few volumes each. Um, so you told you I was not awake yet. Um, this time around I'm actually two packages in but this obviously I wasn't doing this when I got my first two parts. But what they have started doing which I quite like because I like, I like these. Uh, is they've added in little pins. You can see those? They're really cute. So these are the previous two boxes that I've received. Um, just pull that off. Um, they're most of, like I said, most of this in here, what they have done on the website is that you can um, back order, well, I, you could back order their previous issues. So I do actually have all the um, the original issues, like volumes 1, 2, whichever it was, and then I also got the back order of the previous ones that you've seen Erin doing, um, but then you got one got newer stuff like this, so there's little books of recipes and that. And I haven't made these yet, um, but got a again a couple of paper toys, which are kind of neat. Um, the reason I haven't made these is twofold. One, I just haven't been able to sit down with it. But the main reason I haven't been sort of sat down with it yet is it's not die cut. You have to cut all the pieces out yourself, and that's kind of tricksy. I'm not. I've got a um, special pen knife now, which I can, you know do it with but it's it's kind of tricksy so I, I you need to sit down and concentrate with that and I haven't given myself time to concentrate with that um, but yeah you also got the um the usual stickers and you know different things um those kind of couple of cool magnets so yeah that's like some of my previous things but what they have also done to step it up a little bit is they got these um sorry they actually advertise on the website things for your curios cabinet and they did and um you can see this here it's like solid pewter and it's really heavy and as you can see very funky and, and well detailed so that was the first one and then this came in the second one you get that little fella there's a there's a happy little face and then you turn it around and it actually does have an explanation for it on the box and I think it's like a, a reproduction of something called Light in the Pursuit of Madness or something I'll, um, I'll look it up for you in a second but yeah so you get these really nice metal figures excuse me oh. nope nope yes no ah there it is um, so and they're coming in these much funkier boxes now because before it was in the envelopes and that particular figure is called uh, from Russia. It's a uh, date unknown. Uh, description: a perplexing description of or extrapolation on the Shigir S H I G I R idol, the oldest known wooden sculpture originally carved um, eleven thousand years ago. Possibly connections to fragments that were missing during. Revolutionary period during the half, early half of the 20th century. So yeah, it actually gives you a little descriptor for each of the items in the box, which is kind of cool. 
Uh, this one's my favourite at the bottom here. You probably can't read that, but I'll read it to you. Um, psychotronic device, uh, again from Russia, 1972. One self-implanting mind control device primed for nasal insertion. Coated with um, amnesia-inducing gel. Note, customers have already been fitted with this device will not receive another in this box. I didn't get this item in the box, and I was like, oh, um, okay, we're missing something. Then I read the description, like, ah, very clever. So that was Brain Butchers. The um, previous one was, uh, I can't remember what the previous one was called, but it was it was set in London. So it was very cool. So, um, yeah, let's crack this baby open. I've got my, um, my Sword of Gryffindor from a previous geek box, because it's actually quite taped. So bear with. Um, yeah, so I, I, I decided to get the back orders on these because it looked it look neat. So um, end up getting this. I don't know. I'd love to be able to get one of the bigger experiences where you've got lots. You know, you get you know all, the whole big thing and like, or, or send it to someone else. But at the moment, I can't really afford it. To be honest, I probably can't really afford that. But. So yeah, at some point that'd be kind of cool to have as a big one, but uh, today I cannot. There we go. Oh come on! Oh, see, it's still it's still taped up. Where are you? Ah, uh, do 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 And yes, today's Thursday. Yes, there was was Wednesday. Ah, okay. Um. Oh, it looks like it might be a bit um sci-fi, maybe like. 60s sci-fi and it's called <sighs> Clockwork Mutineers and look at that artwork how cool is that actually that'd be cool on a t-shirt this isn't going to come with a t-shirt because that's not what they do um and then on the back so very very cool artwork ah so let's just see is there more tape of course there's more tape what we have come on See, this is, you know, it's not a proper unboxing unless you see me unboxing it, but then you've got the issue of, there you go, time taken to unbox it. Uh, okay, there we go, let's see, um, so here we have, ooh, got some good stuff, the newspaper, is that Tesla? Oh, the music of the spheres, oh, it's Einstein Reality, Relativity and Black Colors, oh, that's cool, alright, um, oh, I'll actually have a look at that. Uh, joke of the day. Alright, so there once was a lady named Bright who travelled much faster than light. She departed one day in a relative way and returned on the previous night. <laughs> Which I have heard that before, but it's it's uh, still cute. Um, Edgar Allan Poe. Letter from the editor. Uh, little comicy things. Uh, what we got? Of giants and wastrels, all these little funky adverts anticipating the future. Is there like a timeline thing? All tomorrow's parties, end of space travel, uh, author on the sound of time travel. Ah, these oh, these are fun, some funky clocks. Um, yeah, there's an article about these timepieces. They're quite nice. Um, should we do the horoscopes? Um, Aquarius, where are we? No, no, yes, Aquarius. It has been a while since you updated your look. Get with the times, you're more original and creative than that. Can't really argue with that. Uh, out of curiosity, Scorpio, which is Aaron's sign. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Do not flinch and do, not, and do what is needed. You will win out in the end if you give it your best effort. That's actually kind of, if you know what's, you know, if you've been keeping up to date with what's going on there at the moment, um, that's kind of spooky. Uh, there you go, Aaron. There's your there's your horoscope. Um, so yeah, you got this. Um, kind of pulpy covers, races. This is actually the first time the magazines look really kind of modern. Usually, it's quite um, you know. Dated, not dated, but it's, it's aged to look like it's an older, old timey newspaper. And then this one's got like more, the, the print on it is quite a lot brighter, and the other's look a bit more um, modern. So, yeah, there's the newspaper. Um, what we got here? So, you want to be a time traveller with automatic updates? 
the time travels it ought to be um, raw, solitary and lawless little booklet here um, before you go is this the right guide for you baby steps um, so it's like a little um, guidebook to time travel oh, the butterfly effect I'm not going to read this all out for you now but there's lots because I'm actually aware of the time on the, on the clock as well we only did 10 minutes, good god, I bet, better brush through this um, yeah, so it's um, a little bit of uh, we got, we got that Hitler thing, so the thing about the Hitler power, paradox yeah, kids don't kill Hitler it, it, he was a horrible, horrible person, but we should be learning from those lessons uh, let's see, we've got the postcards um, there we go VISIT THE MOON Greetings from the future! There you go. Um, <laughs> see racing like never before! Da, da, da. Yep, they're racing velociraptors, which is kind of cool. Very fun. This is nice, it's an iron on patch. I've not seen one of these before in here. Um, International Fellowship of Time Travellers. And with a little clock and swirly. This is very cool. Obviously, time travel stuff is interesting to me if you've seen my first film review you'll know that I quite like that kind of stuff um, I'm not sure what this is um, some kind of calibrating thing um, oh the nocturne um, the nocturne is based upon the principle that the earth spins in space with very little wobble using a northern celestial pole as the mostly as a mostly unmoving point and taking the time of the year into account we can but use the position of the stars as a giant clock. The nocturne is an instrument that puts hands of the clock and display at an accurate time. Huh. So it's a little um little thing that you um, work out where you are in the world and all that. And then you can um tell the time, well, I guess without a sundial. You know, because obviously sundials don't work at night. So that's kind of cool. I will play with that. Um, <clears throat> we do have a pin, which I'm happy about. See if I can wiggle it out without having to get the box up. Come on. The inside of the box is a very cool design as well. Kind of a splowy design. Um does this come out? Oh yeah, it lifts out. Bear with me. Now here we go. Uh-huh. Um, what we got here? Oh there she is. Um it's a, a lady person going through a um a sciencey symbol in that and where are we? There we go. That's very cool. That's a good one for the collection. If you can focus. That's that's my pin. And again, it's a, it's a nice metal. Uh, and then we got our um, curiosity, which looks like um, kind of like a dolly painting. So let's have a look. Let's get this out of here. They do package it well. Oh wow, that's that is weird. There we go. Um, it kind of dolly, but also um, <coughs> elder gods. <laughs> Let me just right, stop that. Uh, stop that away. Um, so yeah, you got your melty clock face. There you go. But if you turn it around, <coughs> bless her. Excuse me. You have these cool um, tentacle um, things coming out of it, which is very cool. I like that, and again, there's a lot of weight to this. There's a lot of weight to it, so that's very cool. Um, no paper toy by the looks of it. Oh, but we do have the the clock thing. So let's see. Um, yeah, postcards, the pin. Oh, it depicts a soon-to-be sport of time machine piloting. That's what the pin's supposed to represent. One papercraft contraption. So yeah, it's already made for us. Um, what does it say about the ah the prestige item the um the funky clock thing it says a portal to another dimension redacted infiltration or just a bent old poker watch with an octopus living in it you decide so yeah there's actually oh yeah the um patch is the official insignia of an agency yet to be created and then the newspaper. So yeah, we've got everything we're supposed to have. 
but yeah it is actually um you can see that it's actually redacted which is quite funny um yeah i'm i'm actually really enjoying getting these boxes um so again i have to thank aaron for putting me onto these um and since he isn't buying them at the moment he gets to live a little bit vicariously through me having them um <coughs> i do need to find somewhere to put all these boxes because i do think they're quite neat um the first one i was able to fold up but then they made the um bits of cardboard to put the curios in a bit thicker but you can see they make quite a neat collection when you put them all together um yeah the um the artwork on the other one wasn't as uh detailed it kind of was it wasn't that's the um inside of the brain butchers so I, li I like if we're judging an art artwork i quite like this one and like i said i don't um if they ever do a t-shirt which they've done one time the for the first volume of this they did um colors of death and it's a t-shirt with a skull on it and then different colors and each color is supposed to represent like a different type of poison and that was very cool but that was a you buy it separately um, but yeah, so uh, we've got our um, our nice pin. Um, there she is. Got we got our pin. We've got our cardboard toy thing, which I'm, I'm definitely going to have a play with this and see what it does. Um, we have obviously our postcards, which are fun. I like the postcards. Again, quite a cool pulpy art on them. So sort of, you know, future by way of fifty sixties. A very nice patch. I don't know if I'll do anything with it. I just realised they're unicorns. They're so cool. Time travelling with unicorns. <laughs> and uh, the the guide, time traveller's guide. We've got a newspaper. And a very cool curio, which I, I'm not sure where I'm going to fit that in my cupboard. But um, uh, uh, so far of the three, um, they're all good. They are all good, but I think I think we have a new favourite because just see the detailing on that. It's very, very cool. Alright, my lovelies, I'm going to have to go and finish getting myself ready. Um, obviously, like, share, subscribe. Um, you can follow me at Phoenix11. And uh, for, thank you for your time this morning. Bye-bye.